did. Let's go to uh, Damon in Oakland. Damon in Oakland. Good morning, man. Uh, talking Willie Mays here. What's your What's your thoughts on Willie Mays, man? I'm Bonte Shasky. Thank you. This is a tough one, I tell you. I uh, I have to say, I met Willie Mays one time, and I I had to tell him, you're the reason why I didn't do drugs or smoke cigarettes. And I had to tell him that because the man meant a whole lot to me growing up. I grew up in Oakland in the 50s and 60s. I saw him play for the first time August 2nd. 1962 I wanted to see him make the basket catch but only one ball came to him and ironically they were playing the Cubs just like yesterday <laughs> wow. in that game and, wow. and the Giants Giants ended up winning the game 4-3 to three. I still remember like it was yesterday I was 11 years old wow. and I said I had to meet Willie Mays I just got to meet this man before I leave the planet and ironically I, I had a chance to meet him and boy I, I was starstruck. I don't get I don't get starstruck with, with with movie stars, but I got starstruck with Willie Mays. I just looked at him and he said, "What do you want?" I said, "You don't know what it means for me to meet you, man. If you just don't know." And I, I was just all I got to say. And, and another thing before I, before I know you. you no, no, continue. Do not rush this call. This is about, Damn, this this is about, this is about our community. You know, remembering yeah. one of the all time yeah. legends. The, the floor is yours, man. Yes. Yes, and the thrills he gave us on those base pads was just incredible. I will never, ever forget Willie May scoring from first base on a bunt, and there was no errors. <laughs> there was no errors in that play. That was the most incredible thing I ever heard Russ Hodges mention during the radio broadcast, that Mays scored on a bunt. I, Bonte, I remember 1962 when they played the Dodgers in that playoff game, and I'm on the edge of my seat and Mays making things happen on that field. In fact, the last when they made the last out at Dodger Stadium, Mays caught the ball and, and he fired to Philippe Lou in right field because they were celebrating that they were going to the World Series. And doggone it, I remember running home from school because the games were played in the daytime in those days to find out. And I come to the house and said, Mama, did they win? Did they win? And she said, no, they lost. And I, I was crestfallen from the time from 1962. And every time they play the Yankees, I think about that World Series in 62. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I do. And, and, and I'll tell you, this really got to me yesterday. It was almost like, did I, did I hear what I was watching the Giants game? <laughs> did I really hear what I heard? It, it, it was just incredible because we never wanted to think that Willie Mace was ever going to die. No. Because I saw the man in his prime. I saw him in his prime. And people like that are not supposed to get old no. to me. It's simple as that. Yeah. And and I'm so I'm so thankful that I, I saw that man play. And it, it was, you know, I mean, because like, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Him, he was a rookie the year I was born. I wish I had been in New York to watch that man develop mm. almost like a Steph Curry. I saw Steph Curry develop to be a superstar. Mm. But I, I always thought that I wish I could have seen Willie Mays do that. <laughs> I wish I could have wow. seen Willie Mays. And, and, and Bonte Shasky, I just got to say this. When I met him, I became that one of those children in the street in Harlem. Hmm. I became Great right call. there. And I was 60, I was 60 years old. <laughs> and I became a kid. I, be, I became a kid talking to Willie Mays. I was one of those kids in that street. That's what I remained. It reminded me of. I'll be honest with you. I said, because that man meant a whole lot to me. He was the reason why I didn't smoke cigarettes. That's amazing. But that's, Good, that's, great call, Dan. So, so, so uh, uh, but, but all I got to say is that thank you, thank you, thank you for talking about the great Willie Mays. I love him forever. Thank you for that, calling that's, in. That's a great call, Damon. Great call. And a lot of people feel like Damon. A lot of people looked up to him. A lot of people looked up to him. Let's get to... Uh, it's hard to not get emotional. No, nah, it's, you know, it's not. Um, you are listening to 95.7 A Game. KGMZ FM and AZ1 San Francisco and Odyssey Sports Station. Always live on the free Odyssey app. And don't forget that you can also watch us every single day on our YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter streams brought to you by First North Cal Credit Union for a low rate auto loan. Apply online or just ask for First North Cal Financing at the dealer. Um, it's hard not to get emotional. I mean, I played that Say Hey Kid song over and over last night in my earbuds. I played it in my car this morning, and each time I broke down. The guy, like, <laughs> not even to make a joke, but you know you're an all-time great when you got your own damn jingle. And You and got your own damn jingle.
You know what I'm saying? And it still knocks. And it's still, oh, it's it's an all-time classic. So I'm, I'm such a nerd. I have the Ken Burns entire musical, there's like an album that's yeah. associated to the Ken Burns baseball right. thing, and I downloaded all the songs, right. and yes, that's one of them. That's one of the there's songs. There's plenty other ones. I mean, we were pointing to Joe's song. Can we play song? the whole thing right now? No, we, because we, to me- I was going to open the show with that song. To me, that but, the beginning of the guys well, riffing well, with Willie is- Let's do it on the other side. Okay, we'll come into it's the one break of the greatest, on the other side. It's one of the greatest- Yeah, no, then, no, no. Like no. John Fogarty, I don't know if you know, you know- Put me in, coach. Yeah. I'm ready. They took the Giants font, if you will, mm-hmm. for the center field, John Fogarty. Um, to me, it was Willie Mays. Yep. He didn't have to say it. It was Willie Mays running around, yep. playing with that youthful joy. I love it. No, I, I was going to open the show with the song, but <sighs> I, I made an executive decision, and it's probably best because I would have broke down before the show even started. It, it's been... <laughs> Say hey, Willie. I mean, it's crazy how like none of us have ever even met the guy, and you know, I know like actors and things like that. Even politicians can have an impact on people's lives, but without Willie Mays, I legitimately don't know where my love of sports, my connection with my own father. I know how much he meant to him. Like it, it, it keeps coming back. You're referencing your uncle and how he got you into sports and and what he meant, what Willie meant to him, like. I think everybody can relate to that. I got a text from Janice Colonico last night, and she's like, who's John that? is devastated. This is a guy I know who's been coaching forever, loves sports. Yeah. His boys love sports. His boys, after hearing this, they're like 20-something years old. Where'd they go? They drove down to at t Park. They yeah. felt like they had to need to be there. I, and John couldn't. She said he was inconsolable. He was broken up. That's his favorite player of all time. I, he still, to this day, says, Joe... You really thought Gorky's Hernandez was a good center fielder? I saw Willie Mays, yeah. <laughs> and you're telling me Gorky's Hernandez is a good center fielder? It's kind of like a running joke between the right. two of us. But that's what he meant to San Franciscans and, yeah. and Bay Area residents who watch the I, Giants. I happened to randomly. I don't know why. I had dinner at North Beach last night, and I'm driving in. Uh, and I just, I was like, damn, I can just drive by Oracle Park. <laughs> and I didn't park. I didn't get out. There was a lot of cameras out there and flowers. And I don't, you know, <clears throat> I just looked. He said, I'll stop by here, and I'll see you soon, Willie. Yeah. I'll see you soon, Willie. And the fact that he does have that statue right there, there's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. You walk into Oracle Park, the first thing you see, the first thing I ever did before I walked into that stadium was take a picture in front of the Willie Mays statue. And every day you see somebody stopping by there taking photos before games. And you think sometimes you're like, man, why can't I get a photo here? Why can't I? That's what Willie meant. Everybody, I, I met somebody going into the Yankee game. I heard them. They were talking about... You know, we traveled all the way out here. The first thing we've been wanting to do it is take a photo in front of the Willie Mays statue. And these guys wear Yankees gear. They're like, we had to take a photo in front of the Willie Mays statue because of what he meant to baseball. It's one of the last communal gathering spots that I know in my heart will never, ever, ever, ever be defaced or devalued or non-appreciated. Yeah. It, when we talk about all the different, you know, Monuments and things right. have happened in the last five years. Where we've taken down certain things. Willie Mays will stand there forever, yeah. larger than life, and it looks like it's been there since the 1600s. Yep. And it's it's one of the spots. Meet me at the Willie Mays we'll statue. Willie Mays 24 statue. Willie Mays yep. Plaza. Uh, <laughs> the, the 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 feet. The 24 feet is, yep. is how tall the you know arcade is. Nobody ever says there. the Baby Bull statue, huh? Nobody says Walmart. They go Willie Bay statue. Meet me at the we'll be at Willie Bay statue. But, and I love the way That's it's great. it's it's the image I have in my yeah. head where as he's hitting, he's almost running out yeah. of the box. I yep. mean, he's literally running out. Like, Ichiro did the same thing more as a lefty, but like as he's hitting, he's running out of the box. And I think to me, that signifies this combination of hitting for power, hitting for contact, average, if you will, mm-hmm. running the bases, catching the ball. And throwing at an elite level. He was the ultimate five tool player. No doubt about that. Um, 